welcome two of the most inspiring women of Bollywood, the actor, producer, director, and of course, the inspiring lead of the movie Panga. Can we please invite Kangana Ranaut on the stage with us along with... Ladies and gentlemen, known for her star power, the challenging looks that she dons, one of the most fashionable actresses of Bollywood, and of course, the queen of Bollywood, who has won millions of hearts. I was just waiting for this moment because Karnika is very, very delighted to meet Mani Karnika of Bollywood. <laughs> so, uh, first of all, welcome to Hyderabad, Kangana ma'am. And uh, it's such a pleasure for us to have you here. And uh, before we, you know, hand over to you, I would like to welcome the director, ladies and gentlemen, an Indian filmmaker, writer, winner of Best Director Filmfare, the very talented director of Panga, we have with us Ashwini Ayur Tiwari. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give it up for both the ladies here? Thank you so much. Uh, so I think, ma'am, without that, when they see such a powerful message that is sent out to the audience, how challenging was it, uh, Kangna, ma'am, for you to play a mother and a kabaddi player? And uh, you know what do you feel as they say, jo sapne dekhte hai, wo panga lete hai. how well do you agree with that? Uh, Karnika, first of all, thank you so much for the lovely introduction and lovely words that very kind of you um, to you know give such an um, very honor to me and my team. Um, and how did I feel playing a mother? I think by far the most gratifying experience has been to play a mother on screen and uh, for me, like I have always, I have done a lot of films based on women empowerment, and even in film industry, I try and question, uh, you know, the basic and the uh, rudimentary uh, place that uh, and and the way women are treated, and the um, you know, and the uh, and the kind of place that they hold, where very replaceable. Um, but I I must say that uh, playing a mother, um, I did not ever think that uh, what what are the challenges that a, that a mom faces and what are the challenges that anybody who wants a second chance in life uh, they go through um, and I felt actually very bad about it that I think I'm a very sensitive person and when I heard the script I was crying and I know where in my life not that the film is some heavy uh, crying film it's a very light-hearted film uh, but still I felt that how did this this uh, experience this perspective I ex escape this perspective so but I'm very glad that Ashwini ma'am came to me with this script and I got the opportunity to live a mother's life after uh, Manikarnika so I think uh, we've heard it from the leading lady and now uh, Ashwini ma'am uh, we would just like to ask you what was Kangana ma'am's reaction when she heard the script from you for the very first time and uh, how did you get the sort of delivering such a powerful message to all the mothers and women out there? Um, I feel as storytellers, we have to be a voice uh, for the unknown. And Namaskaram uh, Hyderabad. Uh, so, uh, so thank you so much for calling us here and uh, being a part uh, of your uh, vision also. Uh, the thing is that um, I feel that whatever is happening in our country and whatever is happening in society, as as a country which is going through changing times, it is important that more women also get empowered. We always talk about women empowerment, but we talk about women empowerment only in the outward sense. We do not talk about it in the inward sense. There are so many women even today and there are so many men also who go through this changing cycle in their relationships uh, where uh, the mother always takes, the woman takes a back seat. There is a jaya in in every house. There's a jaya in the mother, there's a jaya in a wife, there's a jaya in a daughter, there's a jaya in a sister, even in a girlfriend who becomes a wife later. And what happens is that that girlfriend is amazing when you're dating and when you're almost getting married. And after getting married, everything looks very nice for the first three, four years. And as soon as you have that child, then the patriarchal society we have engraved in ourselves uh, when there's a decision about who is going to be taking care of the kid or who wants to take that back seat it always goes on to the woman 
but also it's about the yin and yang thing but today in this day and age it is all about co-parenting it is all about supporting each other and if this generation of men do not support their women who else is going to do it uh, so having this thought in mind uh, and of course uh, storytelling cannot be uh, forced upon you you have to start feeling you cannot be showcasing and pointing out and saying come look at me and this is what we need to say uh, we are not uh, here to tell you to change attitudes all we're telling you to say uh, all we're telling you is that feel the change within you and if we uh, to uh, kagna is a superstar and with through her emotion if she can tell the whole a uh, world i would say is because this is india's story to the world also and if we can tell the world that hey we as a country also are changing through our storytelling uh, we do not have to ape the west and this is a universal idea so we are truly indian in our idea but at a day and age where everyone is struggling with with uh, equal pay with uh, having equal uh, rights as women even today statistics say that there are more than 40% women who leave their jobs after having a child so there is, this is a problem across the world but we as a country are making this film and no no other person than kangna is fronting this you know so thank you kangna for believing in me for that and um, so when i narrated the so i had i had called her i sent a message to her saying that hi this is uh, ashwini aitwari and uh, i'm the director of bareilly ki barfi so you mind if you can give me some time to uh, uh, meet up or speak on the phone because i thought she was very busy so it's not right to just say come meet me and she was very courteous to just call me on the spot by the way this is the first director <laughs> who <laughs> called me directly <laughs> let's meet i have to tell you a story so i thought should i call my manager to tell her because it looks weird like if a director is calling you then the manager <laughs> will call you know that you messaged kangna but i am the manager i said let me call and i said yeah let's listen to the story <laughs> when can we meet so we were both like talking like uh, so this is like she's like that completely uh, straight forward yeah and uh, uh and and she said why don't we just meet uh, i have a day off so let's meet on 14th of april i'll never forget this date and uh, i said okay 14th of april 2018 i met her it was uh, the south indian new year vishu and uh, i went narrated the one liners to her uh, me and my writer and she said i'm doing this and i said this is the best uh, new, uh, new year uh, thing gift you know and i also told her oh there is an again another south indian in your life i think you are just <laughs> you are just <laughs> attracted towards south indians is because she uh, had just oh, in in Mani, between manikarnika yeah, and guru, guru and is, manikarnika and yeah then i'm doing jayalalita <laughs> then <laughs> i was working with her then i was working with um uh, prakash sir yeah. who was doing judgmental hai he's from hyderabad as well yeah so um. uh, मतलब आई हैव बिकम लाइक हंड्रेड परसेंट साउथ इंडियन सो या दैट्स हाउ इट द जर्नी स्टार्टेड बट द वन थिंग विच एवरी वन केप्ट आस्किंग मी आफ्टर आर आफ्टर वी बोथ केम टूगेदर वॉज दैट ओ सो आई यू लाइक रियली गोन बी वर्किंग विद कंग ना लिसन चीज गोन टू चेंज ऑल यूर स्क्रिप्ट चीज गोन टू डू एवरी थिंग विच इज विच इज अनहर्ड ऑफ एंड यू नो यू हैव लाइक गॉड टू बेस्ट डिरेक्टर अवॉर्ड वॉट आर यू डूइंग योर गो इज गोइंग बैक ट्रैक एंड एवरी थिंग एंड आई हैड दिस वन थिंग इज दैट इट्स इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर पीपल टू अलाउ दैम टू बी द वे दे आर एंड हैव अ वॉइस we cannot be repressed in what we speak and uh, this is something through i think 2 to 1 and a half years she has taught me how to take panga in <laughs> 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 panga and a lot of things you know so because she must have thought if i have to take panga in life i should take with kangna <laughs> if i should do a film let's do it with kangna <laughs> yeah maybe if you backtrack now and then if you want to put a headline it will have to be that <laughs> so uh, yeah so that happened and it is the relationship like a family and she is an amazing human being uh, and i i'm going to be torch bearing promoting her as a human being as a good human being and also uh, uh, i feel that it's a trust which is most important and we ha- immensely have trust in each other we do not hide anything because from i mean she's so talented and she's so competent as a director that she doesn't need to 
fear anybody, not just me, not anybody. I think a person who's so honest to her work and has confidence in herself, how much people called her and be like, you know, you are ruined now if you do a film with Kangana, she'll sabotage your film and this and that. And then she used to tell me, today I got this phone call and then somebody was saying this. And yeah, I, there was I also, thought to her, yeah. I thought to myself that, you know, we've never met before and still people are trying to intimidate her and she's not intimidated at all by me and no matter what people said about me because I all I can say is I can't even defend myself you know because in that place filming has not start started and how do I defend myself I can't say no but you know you will see and this and that only time will tell uh, so I did not say anything but her heart is so clean and I that's what I feel I I work with people film after film even um, uh, KV Vijendra Prasadji who's doing now we are working on a film called Ayodhya that, that will be my third film with him so I, I work with so many people again and again but she said one thing uh, which I think uh, you know that that narrative जो एक एक बिल्ड किया जा रहा है फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में कि यू नो उसको मुझे काम ना मिले या मेरे साथ लोग काम ना करे एंड आई मीन आई वुड आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल टू हर दैट पीपल लाइक हर आर कमिंग आउट एंड सेइंग बिकॉज not many go out and say you know you know she's she's not a nuisance to work with she's okay you can work with her and she'll give you uh, you know best product and best um, uh, you know and also with kangna it is uh, it is basically um, as a uh, as a director what what do we want we want all our all our character all our actors to get into the character and when an audience watches they don't see the actor they see the character in the film and kangna is someone who is like a chameleon she can blend into any character so much that after a point you kind of forget was it really kangna or was it something else you know like from a curly head doing a straighter and doing something else she'll be something else and unknowingly without making too much of an effort uh, she has put on a, a wait for the film uh, because kabaddi uh, see also kabaddi as a game it's not about putting on becoming an athletic figure or becoming like uh, uh, muscular because that's not what it is it's because it's a it's a it's a very middle class game it's a most it's a it's a very cheap game in cheap in terms of less expensive you don't you only need your strength you can even play kabaddi in a sari and it's a common man's game uh, like you have the common man like that it's it's that and she very artistically did that without making it look like a sports film you know because there's a very thin line there we are talking about a slice of life film we are talking about emotions you are talking about a mother and at that point of time suddenly you're going and seeing one muscular athlete that's not what it is it's uh, and she did that very beautifully that in spite of getting into kabaddi she still dosa mindu vada she still <laughs> was the mother you could still see the mother in her you know uh, you could still see that humanness in her which is so good uh, other thing which i do want to say is that um, that every time uh, we we see films as audiences also uh, there is a sense of judgment which is passed way before the film releases and it's important that we as audiences we as makers also this bar that that judgment is because what you see is what it is and uh, it's it's uh, it's important that as journalists also that you'll put what you'll see and what it is rather than making stories out of it is because the first story which came out when we both aligned was that i had taken a uh, and made a non interference creative agreement with her <laughs> now the thing is that as a director i cannot make any agreements with an actor <laughs> i can only make a relationship agreement with her i can make a sentimental agreement with her for life which is beyond the beyond the agreements of documents or whatever it is the legal documents so that is something which i would really request everyone to just put the way it is rather than putting all the masala but yes you can always say that kangna thought how to take uh, kangna thought ashwini how to take panga <laughs> on the contrary ma'am you took the panga first by calling her up first and not going through the, the manager so that's yeah, um, i believe that whatever it is it uh, any relationship this is an actor director relationship now it's it's beyond that but it is a relationship of 2 to 1 and a half years you cannot go on set cold and say i don't know who you are and you don't know who i am right. 
it's a changing thing her another thing was that she's intervened she gets angry and said come on everyone at a at a house who has not seen their father their mother their wife or husband not having mood swings everyone has mood swings does that become a problem no it doesn't become a problem i have mood swings my first lady wouldn't even come near me that point of time my, my assistant director will be far away 2 kilometers just because she knows that the moment she talks to me today is gone you know and that's what it is and i as a director need to understand her her sentiments and uh, and the truth is actors cannot be themselves be, before screen they have to be someone else how if something is going on in her head and in the next moment she has to be on screen as a simple mother called jaya how is that going to happen and this was a time when manikanika was just releasing and there was so much she was going through no i she has seen me through a lot of emotional and at that point of time well. she was on front of screen i was yeah. uh, this is the film where i have actually in all my films all my life i have given least to uh, panga in term, not as an actor but i'm saying even i am a very prepared actor when i go to the set i never ask my director isse pehle kya hua what happened before this because i usually know what happened before this but with panga i was simultaneously directing mani karnika i used to come to the set and i used to feel so lost and i so many times i told her should we do this now or can you give me 6 months break and she like why do you need break i i'm there for you so i used to go to the set and i asked her so what happened before this where am i now i literally like i have landed in mars mm -hmm. <laughs> you know like i have to land on set and i used to feel bad because that's not her space to tell me uh, that you know as an act what is my emotion now how should i be how am i feeling i used to feel so ashamed of myself to be asking these questions to a director because she has her own direction to do um and uh, she has cooperated a lot with me and i am i am really I'm, all my life i'm going to be so seriously indebted to her for that no but uh, she is being too modest but uh, in spite of all that she still knew exactly what she needed to do when she used to come on the set then everything else is something else Yeah. All right. So, can we request for a group pic photograph no, no, no. for the media? Any more questions? Because yeah. I feel they've answered almost every question. Uh, yes. Sure. I, uh, so, yes. Can we please? I think that is the mood of the film. Otherwise, uh, Panga is is a very light-hearted film, and to an extent, it is a little bit of a comedy also. If you see um, a comedy which may not make you laugh, but it will definitely give you smile throughout the film. Uh, but uh, when the film, the, when the nature of the film, like a Mani Karni, is very serious toned film, um, that cannot be light-hearted. So, but this is light-hearted. So probably that's why you're feeling that. Yeah. I also feel a part of uh, her self also in the film. Uh, so uh, she 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 can laugh at herself very happily, you know. And she also her family like you you should hear the conversation between Rangoli and Kangna. It's like it's hilarious. you know so uh, that's what it is so always there would be some part of your inner essence also which would come in uh, in the character itself it has immensely helped me earlier i did not have any reference point to motherhood like you know like my mom is a mother but we do not see her like that the way i see rangoli as a mother i don't see my mother as a mother you know uh, so a uh, prithvi has definitely brought a lot of happiness into the family and with his him being the first grandchild in children and uh, being so you know especially when i was doing a film like mani karnika he was just born just then and uh, now panga so literally like birth of two mothers simultaneously happened um, so for me there's it's a very good reference point and also uh, the fact that my sister also went through something similar mm. she shifted uh, from mumbai to accommodate her son's upbringing and you know she didn't have help in mumbai so she shifted to in lost place and things like that she and her husband has altered their lives in such a way that they have become very selfless it's all about him now which is in a way that you know it's very it's not a very exactly the way a, a millennial couple you know kind of they find it very hard to now accommodate um, you know earlier parents were a lot more selfless so 
So Panga is about that, how the kind of emotions they go through. Not that they don't do, the, they do the same thing, but with different emotions now. So it's about uh, what she tells me. I'm sorry to the Rangoli coach you here. She's like, after the child is born, she's like, I was just crying uh, endlessly for days because as if he's stuck to me now, you know, like I can't go anywhere. <laughs> as if like we are, we are like stuck with the glue and she just wanted for the sake of it. I just wanted to go somewhere alone, you know. So she was just crying for days. It's very difficult to deal with, especially for a woman. Yeah, no. and if I had like yeah. twin kids. Uh, I have twin kids. They're nine years old now. And uh, I remember the day they came, uh, I looked at them and I was like, Ho gayi meri zindagi art se, like, I'm done. <laughs> as much as I love, I mean, of course, you just love your kids. But at that moment, I think no, no man can understand that. That what happens when you see those, that little thing and you're like, what happened to my life? And I went into a 10, 15 day post whatever that depression that I'm done, my, I've lost, I have no job now. This is what I'm going to be doing. So that I think happens to everyone. And but Nitesh sir has put such a cute picture of her on Instagram uh -huh. with two two months babies. She's held them like that and working on her laptop for some advertisement. <laughs> so I think that's the spirit of I think today's women. But, but, wish. Why, but why Panga? I mean, it's a story where you're telling about the family problems and a woman goes through Panga. How it relates to the story? Is she trying to take Panga with the family? No, so baby? that's what it is. You know, yeah. for us, Panga has been a word which is always a very strong word. Mm -hmm. It is Panga. Right? Really? If you've got the first thing. But in this film and through this story, we want to say, take Panga. Okay. Take Panga with your life. Take Panga with the societal norms. Take Panga with the societal thinking. Take Panga with all those things. And Panga is not a word which has to be used for an outward thing. Panga is a word which has to be used for your everyday life. And every day we have lots of Pangas to take. Um, I was shooting here also for 30, 40 days. We are coming back here. There, there is so much. Um, I mean, I think for me, like Sambal is something which is so energizing and it just, it just brightens you up no matter what time of the day you have it. And the exotic vegetables that we've never seen in North India, you know, the kind of vegetable, I don't even know their name. It's every day there's a new vegetable here. So we are, I, I hope, uh, you know, like I think s s we are losing some of that vegetation. I hope we uh, keep it and we don't, uh, some of that is getting extinct. So I think it will be nice to preserve those. She loves uh, filter coffee also. Totally. Okay. Uh, ye liye dangal inspiration ta ke aapke liye? Yeah, ma. Why would dangal be an inspiration? Okay. And uh, same, ye concept se ek Telugu mein ek movie aayi thi Jersey karke, which mein, uh, jis mein nani hero the. And the same movie is actually remade in Hindi. It is actually remaking in Hindi with uh, Shahid Kapoor. So, uh, I have not seen that movie. I don't know anything about it. Okay. So, ma'am, Kangana ke liye aur ek question hai. So, uh, aap uh, aajkal saare jitne bhi kar rahe ho, pure uh, female oriented movies kar rahe ho. Love story is recent. Uh, kuch planned hai ki aap ke liye future mein. I think uh, kuch kuch filmon mein jaise Panga mein bhi ek love story hai. Kafi prominent hai. और जो मेरी फिल्म है तलाईवी जिसमें जयललिता जी का पार्ट मैं प्ले कर रही हूँ वो भी एसेंशियली एक एक लव स्टोरी ही है बट अनरिक्वेटेड लव जो आपको हासिल नहीं हो पाता है उस तरह की ही है तो तो ऐसा नहीं है मैं लव स्टोरीज नहीं कर रही मगर ये है कि दे मैं नॉट मे नॉट बी द फोरफ्रंट और द सेंटर � uh, the environmental crisis and uh, I'm very much aware that how much uh, uh, ecological footprint we leave behind every day on daily basis but this awareness has just come about for a year or two now I wish I always had this awareness I have um, so many times just abused the environment used a lot of plastic bottles have like one sip from a bottle and thrown it away so many times I have left so much food without being aware of the consequences. I just wish I was, if I had another chance, I would, would want to go back and correct those things about my lifestyle. Talking about it, what have, whatever has uh, is been happening in JNU is uh, what we get from the news items is, th is that there are two colleges, you know, like they have just kind of sort of clashed and had some sort of friction and. Uh, both the colleges have the student injured from 
So I don't think it, it deserves to be a national issue. These kind of anti-social elements are there in all the colleges and universities. Cops should look into it and there should be definitely proceedings um, and they should be taught a very you know, proper lesson because they have caused a lot of ruckus.